This five minute presentation will discuss the serum ascites albumin gradient, or SAG. Specifically, we will cover what the SAG means and how to calculate it, as well as gain a better understanding of its use clinically. How to calculate the serum ascites albumin gradient is in its name. It is the serum albumin minus the ascites albumin. This calculation can be used to determine the cause of ascites. But before we talk more about the use of SAG, let's go back and do some review, starting with ascites, which is the abnormal accumulation of fluid in the peritoneal cavity. Specifically, it is defined as greater than 25 mils of fluid. Ascites is made up of proteins such as albumin, cells such as red blood cells and white blood cells, glucose, etc. In order to figure out what is causing the abnormal accumulation of fluid, we do a procedure called a paracentesis. This enables us to obtain a sample of fluid and measure the albumin. We can then compare the level of albumin in the peritoneal fluid to the level of albumin in the blood, and this is what makes up the serum ascites albumin gradient. The reason why this is important to calculate is because the differential diagnosis for causes of ascites is broad and can include a number of different conditions. We calculate the SAG to narrow the differential diagnosis and help us clinically. Breaking down the SAG, the number to remember is 11 grams per deciliter. If the calculated SAG is greater than 11, it is considered a high SAG, and if the SAG, calculated SAG is less than 11, it is considered a low SAG. To explain how this works, let's consider the movement of fluid across a capillary membrane. Normally, there is a dynamic equilibrium that balances increases in portal pressure with increases in oncotic pressure. In the setting of portal hypertension, there is increased hydrostatic pressure, leading to a leakage of fluid. However, albumin is too large to pass through the capillary membrane, and therefore the difference between the albumin and the acidic fluid and the albumin in the serum is increased, and this is how patients with portal hypertension get ascites. In patients who develop ascites in the absence of portal hypertension, the albumin in the acidic fluid is increased due to increased permeability in the capillary membrane. This means the difference between the albumin in the acidic fluid and the albumin in the serum will instead be decreased. A high serum ascites albumin gradient is caused most commonly by cirrhosis. Other causes include bud Chiari syndrome, which is occlusion of the hepatic vein, and heart failure, as well as others. A low serum ascites albumin gradient is commonly caused by things like infection, malignancy, pancreatitis, nephrotic syndrome, as well as others. In conclusion, the serum Albumin ascites gradient is a calculation that uses the albumin as measured in the serum minus the albumin in the acidic fluid. It is used clinically to narrow the differential diagnosis when considering the different causes of ascites.